Alrighty guys, y'all see this 2008 PT Cruiser. That's right, in the shop. Uh, yeah, we had to put some uh, alternate on this thing. But look guys, during my inspection, I saw this. Tires were out and uh, tire pressure light is on. All right, so what do we do? Yeah, I recommend tires. Now we got two front tires, guys, two in the rear, okay. They got me some uh, whatever these are. That's not important. Now here's a tire pressure monitor that I have to put on. Now the thing about it, this car is new enough to tell you that a tire pressure monitor has an internal problem. However, it would just give it some random name. Like this one says, tire pressure one. So how do you determine, there's four wheels on this car, how do you determine which one is tire pressure one? I don't know, but I ain't willing to take a chance and end up replacing the wrong one. So you know what I do? <laughs> I go get the two. Yeah, baby, Mopar two. It's not a Dermot two, this is a Mopar two. TPM, tire pressure monitor, RKE analyzer. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, manually test each sensor to find the fail one yes we use a, a scan tool you can consider this a scan tool we use something like this what we do is we go to the car and we load up the information in it let's see what do we got what do we got it's gonna ask me okay yeah typical uh, information that it want to know okay yes FCA vehicles y'all see that other makes we also do Mopar will do other makes as well in other words it'll do Ford's GM's anything like that so I'm gonna click uh, FCA model click OK now I got a couple of options here I'm gonna choose check tire pressure monitor all right we're gonna do it manually guys yeah you can do it you can run the VIN and do it that way but we're gonna do it manually okay now uh yeah working on Chrysler Hey, PT Cruiser. I already pulled up. Those are my options. So we got PT Cruiser and this is a 08 model. Uh, we're going to do four wheels. I don't know if the spare tire doesn't have a tire pressure monitor on it. Four wheels. Now, y'all see this? Uh, left front, right front, right, right rear, left front, left rear. We can, I can start whichever one I want to. So since I'm over here on this side, we're going to start with the left front. So it tells me to press the tire pressure to trigger sensor. All right, here we go. Now I got the machine up to the sensor because it's trying to read it. All right, y'all ready? Let's click it. It's running the test. And there you go. It detect that one. All right, so let's do another one. Where we at? Uh, let's go to the left rear since I'm over here on this side. We're gonna move down here to the left rear. Point toward the sensor. We're gonna pull, push the trigger, and ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. What, 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 what? What do we got? What do we got? Will it pick it up? Will it pick it up? Who knows? We shall find out. There you go. All right. So I can detect that one. Now we're going to the right side. So we're gonna put this on right rear. Now let's see if we can. Uh, Pull the trigger and see what happens here. Running the test. This is a good machine. This will save you some headache, guys. Because if you guess and guess the wrong one, you're in trouble. Because like I say, it only says tire pressure monitor sensor one. Who the hell knows what one is? You would think one is the driver's side up front, right? That's not always the case. Uh-oh, it's taking a long time. This might be my faulty sensor, guys. Oh, I guess not. All right, one more. Now, what we gonna do, let's go to this last one. All right, let's move up to right front. And point there, and let's push, push the trigger. There we go. Okay, don't tell me they consider the right front sensor one. Say it ain't so. Now, on my fault code, remember, these sensors are monitored by a module, the RFE module. RKE module, I mean. So the RKB, if your scan tool would pick the RKE up, you can see which, you can see that there's a problem. All right, from there, you can go in there and get the information you need as far as uh, if there's a tire pressure monitor problem. But the tire pressure light was on, okay? So this is the best time to get this fixed. This one's taking a long time. It's the best time to get this fixed and get it free is when I'm doing the tires. What a coincidence. I just happen to be, oh, no sensor detected. You know what that mean? <laughs> sensor one is the right front. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, go figure. Uh, thank goodness for this machine because 
like I said, you would have had to guess. Uh, sensor one doesn't always mean <laughs> uh, a driver's side front, guys. So I'm putting this on. Now I got to make sure I don't mix the tires up. <laughs> you know how you roll both tires over and you forget which one come off the... Well, this one is worse than this one. From So, so from that standpoint, you should be fine. Yeah, I don't see why on this one. However, this one is worn. The ones on the rear are still good. He just never rotated, guys. Please rotate your tires. All right, that is crazy. Why would you not? Look at this. Did you see how good the rear tires is? They never rotated them. Ah, yes. Look out. Yes, that's crazy. Okay, but anyway, I got work to do. I'm not going to film me busting down a tire and, um, uh, replacing a tire sensor yeah i don't want to insult y'all like that y'all professional i just wanted to go over with y'all uh fancy tool now can you do this without this tool like i said there's a lot of leg work gonna be in fall i got a problem with the right front i can remember that but mopar baby rke analyzer again this tests any car so it doesn't have to be a chrysler yeah look at that bad boy all right guys that's how you tell can tell which sense is bad. All right, let me get these tires replaced. I got work to do, man. I appreciate y'all watching.